Travels. Thank you for joining me in another video. In today's video, I've been giving you an update on my vegetable garden. I want you all to see, you know, what's been growing in my garden, what has not been growing in my garden, what's doing good and what's not doing good. I think the last time I gave you all an update on my garden, it was close to around the beginning of last month. But I just want to give you another update so you can see how good everything is doing. You guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about this garden. I mean, I know it's not the biggest garden, but hey, it's my garden. And um, I've been out here every day. I get up in the morning. I got this first thing I do, come out here in my garden just to see what's going on. I mean, I love gardening. I mean, I actually do love it. I mean, oh my God, y'all just, I've been out here every day. But let me give you a tour. Let me show you what's going on in my garden, what I got planted, what's growing, and everything. So let's see. Okay, you guys, here I have, uh, you see that I have the marigolds down there. I also have Mexican sunflower seeds that's growing. I can't wait till those get real huge and real big and really be beautiful. And also I have a tomato plant. I have two tomato plants that's planted on the other side of the fence, as you can see. I use some twine to help, you know, hold it up to the fence. Also right here, this is another tomato plant, also with marigolds. Also, there's some more tomato plants. Two more tomato plants with marigolds down at the bottom and also with Mexican sunflower seeds. And everything is just growing so well. Okay, right here is my zucchini squash and right now i don't i don't see any squash at all i mean that is growing good now don't get me wrong but i haven't seen it produce any squash yet so that's what i'm waiting on okay, that's my zucchini squash and this is in a bucket you all five gallon bucket and see how well it's growing Okay, these are my green bell peppers. As you can see, I have one growing right there already. And I have another one growing right there. And I have some pansies that from the winter time. They're still holding up, but as soon as they can't hold up anymore, then I'll be pulling it out. Like something had already been digging, digging it out, pulling it out. And I think that these are growing, but I, I think that they're growing a little bit slow, but it, it's just me, but hey, as long as they're growing. Okay, also over here, I have in my five gallon bucket, I have a crook neck squash plant and also a straight neck squash plant. And as you can see, I already have one squash already growing and it's doing well. And I have another squash right there that's growing back there. I don't know if you all can see it or not. Let me see. There we go. Yeah, back there is another squash that's growing. And I have, I think I have a, another one down here, a baby one down here. I don't know if you all can see it or not, but it's right there. A baby squash. But they're also doing good in these buckets, you all. I'm telling you, this is my first year growing at five gallon buckets. And let me tell you, I will be adding more five gallon buckets next year. And this is a um, cucumber plant that's growing up. It's growing and it's doing well. It's in a little grow sack. And I got the trellis there so it can, it can grow up the trellis as it grows. And this is uh, my corn. I have corn and that is doing real good. It's growing real good. And I have another cucumber plant. I'm going to pull it over just a little bit because I want them to grow up and trellis on this fence. So that's doing good. As you can see. In here I have three jalapeno peppers. And they're doing good as well. 
And I have some more jalapeno peppers, plant. And they're doing good as well. Okay, over here in this container, pot, I have one, two, three, four, I have five sunflower seeds plants that's growing out. These are sunflower seeds, so they're gonna be tall. I, like I said, I grew these in my pot, in these same pots last year. Also, I just added in a few marigolds as well. And here's my other pot. Here's my other pot with the one, two, three, four, five sunflowers as well, and one marigold. Okay, and also in here, okay, these are wild sunflower seeds that I put in here last year, and they didn't bloom out, but this year they bloomed out, and they bloomed out these. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull them up because, I don't know, because my sweet peppers in here, they're growing, but they're growing very slow. And I just don't know is it because these are these are in here, but I have you know sweet pepper plants that's in here and they don't look too good, you all. So I mean it's like whatever I plant in here, whatever vegetable plants I plant in here doesn't do good at all, but but flower but flower does. I grew I, um planted cabbages in here over the winter time and they just grew and they just stopped at a certain length and never grew no more. So they didn't even do good. So I don't know. So I, I'm thinking I'm gonna pull this out. My husband said I should just we should just go ahead and just resort the whole thing. So I'm thinking that's what we might have to do, just resort the whole container. Because my sweet pepper's not doing good. And I got to have my sweet pepper plants because I got to. I got to have sweet peppers. Okay. In this pot we have red bell peppers, and as you can see, that is doing excellent. It don't got so tall. If you all can go back and see my last video when I did my while I was doing my garden, you can see the, the difference in growth, you know, since um since then, a month later. And this has a lot of see one, I see one, one, see one, see two, I see three. Three red peppers on this one. Y'all try hitting it. That's my dog out there messing with the dog. Okay. And also I have more red bell peppers. I have two more red bell pepper plants right here. And they're doing, I have a, a pepper growing on that as well. Right along with the marigolds. I'm going to have to come out here and get these old marigolds because they have seeds in it and collect the seeds from them. Okay. Over here I have two tomato plants that's growing. You all, it was raining at one point to the point that it was so much rain that it was killing my tomato plants. So I'm glad it stopped raining, but I have. Okay, right here I have sunflower, I mean the wildflower seeds that's growing in that container, as well as that container. As you can see, I have some white flowers already blooming. Okay, we have a tomato plant. No tomatoes yet. Right along with the marigold. And I have some little onions seeds I just dropped down in at the bottom. Let's we'll see how those go. Also, another tomato plant. No tomatoes. Okay, this is my cucumber plant. And I have a small cucumber just growing on it already. Let's see if you can, we can see. There's going one right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Let's see. That's a cucumber. And I have some more back there all over just growing. So I'm excited about that. Growth. More Mexican sunflower seeds as well. And this is my other cucumber. And you, you guys, look, look how the, it, it's just growing and it's a treasure. It's amazing because I planted both of these, um, both of these cucumber plants at the same time. And this one just really just took off, you guys. I mean, wow, look at it. It's, it's, it's starting to grow outward, you know. So I might put something there, a little fence, a little gate, a little small there, and let it just grow ahead and go on up this trellis if it, want, if it wants to, you know. That's what I may do. But I think this has cucumbers on it as well. I see small baby cucumbers blooming. And 
guys. You see that cute coming back there? Right there. So I'm excited. And I see another cute coming right here. Okay, let me see if you guys can see. Can I get you guys to see it? Let's see. There we go. You see it back there? And it's just this cute compact just really just took off and just blossomed. Here I have beans planted in here in this pot as well with marigolds. As well over here, the same as this, the same over here. On the back side, the cucumber plant, as you can see, I have marigolds and I got some little onion seeds that I planted in here as well. To play the tomato plant as well. With marigolds going around it. Cucumber plant. I'm about to come out here and trellis this back up this way so it can stay up on the gate. There it goes. I can see this well is down there. As you can see, also I have tomato growing on my tomato plant. And um, I did move my other corn container over here because I felt like even though I planted them both at the same time, this one right here is doing a whole lot better than that one. That one right there was over there in the center, in the, right there in the center of those two white um, five gallon buckets. They was over there, but I moved it over here because I said if this one's doing good over here, I guess because this man is getting the sun, sun and part shade i said and this one might do good over there over here as well because it'll get sun and part shade when it was over the other side it was getting full sun so i'm just gonna see how that turns out and like i said everything's doing good garden container i love it no digging you know get down on my knees no nothing but everything's growing is at, at its own pace and i'm so excited I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed the, my garden tour. Tell me what you think about my gar my garden. Write down in the comments. Tell me what you think about it. And this is my little sitting area out here for my umbrella. Hey, look, you guys. I got a water mister on here, so. If I get too high, I'm going I can just sit down and turn my water mister on, you know, and, and keep and get cool. So I had to make sure I put my water mister around my umbrella. It's not open up all the way because, you know, when the wind is blowing and it's open up all the way, sometimes it'll knock it over. So I just keep it halfway down, you know. And then when I really come out here and sit out here, I just open it up all the way. If it get too hot, I can just turn, turn on the water mister, sit down in my chair, and just 
get cooled off. Yes, but I think everything is growing so good. Everything is doing well. And don't get me wrong, I'm gonna plant some more stuff as well. Y'all look at the bee pollinating. See the bee? It's doing the job. Okay, you guys, thank you for joining me in today's video. I'll give you another update probably in a couple of weeks so we can see what's going on. But if you if you like um, stuff like this, gardening, you know, front porch makeovers, clean with me videos, motivational cleaning with me videos, cook with me videos, uh, decorate with me videos. Um, if you like videos and things like that, subscribe to my channel. I mean, you know, the holidays is going to be coming up soon. I can't wait. I can't wait to the fall season because I can't wait to start decorating my home for the fall season. Um, I can't wait to decorate my home for Christmas. I mean, you know, I'll be trying to do more motivational cleaning, clean with me videos um, soon. So if you like videos like this, like those, just, hey, subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And thank you all for joining me in today's video. You all have a blessed day.